this is questions. It's number 12 from um, Micro Jazz 1 by Christopher Norton. Um, it's marked simply, which means it's got to sound really open and plain, um, but very, very beautiful. So the beauty of the notes themselves can just come through without being um, kind of hindered with a lot of extraneous, massive amount of dynamics and all sorts of things. It's just got to be very open, very honest. The left hand's very, very easy. Just make sure that these notes come down, not like that, together. Um, fourth bar, the left hand is part of the phrase that's going on from the uh, right hand. Um, it says at the top, don't rely on the pedal to achieve a legato line. Um, oh, and take extra care to achieve a small trans smooth transition between the right and left hand in bar four, which is this one, which we just looked at. Um, it's absolutely right there. In fact, you should be able to get this piece to work without the pedal. Um, it's it's not full of massive chords that actually need the pedal to create sort of um, uh, the sonority because you can't do it with your hands. It's there to create an extra sonority, but you can do it with your hands. So practice it without the pedal. Make sure that you can create the sound you're looking without the pedal. Then when you add the pedal, it creates an extra element, a beautiful extra element but don't use it as a cheat. I don't think we've come across them before. It's just three crotchets squeezed into the time of two. We're used to three quavers squeezed into the time of two, which make a crotchet. So this is three crotchets, make a minim. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Make sure the end of this bar that I'm just about to play, you don't accidentally play the triplets that you played in the last bar. So, um, so the last section. So. First bar of line three, one, two, three, and a. First bar of line four, one, two, three, four, and. Okay. That's without 